our viewer question today, they have asked, will eating a whole food plant-based diet and abstaining from alcohol reverse fatty liver? The answer is absolutely yes. Uh, what a wonderful process that is. I couldn't believe it when I saw it in medical school, the before and after pictures, how well the liver can clear all this accumulated fat in the cells out of there. Uh, it was uh, such a gr graphic demonstration that the liver is the champion in the body for healing itself. And uh, you, you can see a fatty liver grossly. It looks swollen and yellow and you can feel it. It feels greasy on the autopsy table or in the operating room. Uh, you can see the fatty liver. And then the person, and this is mostly from eating fat, sugar, and drinking alcohol. Uh, and you can do it just by eating lots of fat and sugar, you wind up with a fatty liver. But throw some alcohol in there and injure the, the liver cells so they can't get rid of the fat. And whoop, that makes it build up even faster. Uh, but this is a really common combination in 21st century America. We're sitting in front of the TV eating a bunch of fat and sugar and drinking a bunch of alcohol, and we're seeing fatty liver, non-alcoholic fatty liver, uh, is, uh, is, is going through the roof. The non-alcoholic fatty liver is a distinction between uh, what I just mentioned, people eating just lots of fat and sugar, and, and a little bit of alcohol, but it's but the alcohol isn't the primary driver of the uh, of the fatty liver deposit. There, um, our f folks who are really struggling with official alcohol addiction are our, our, our alcoholic patients who are just drinking quarts of alcohol every day. Uh, those folks will summon up a fatty liver, but but it's an injury response to the constant toxicity of ethyl alcohol, and that's all one of the few things the liver can do is start accumulating fat to try and buffer itself against uh, against the alcohol. And so that's an official alcoholic fatty liver. Uh, but we've all been shocked and dismayed how many regular non-alcoholic patients are showing up with fatty livers. And we realize it's just from eating a whole bunch of, of fat and sugar and just overwhelming the liver's ability to deal with, with fructose and vegetable oils uh, and animal fats. Uh, you, you can have that fat start building up. And, and then you throw a little alcohol on top of that, it, it accelerates the process. But the primary one, the primary process is not alcohol driven. So you get the now the, the new diagnosis of NIAH, ISH, non alcoholic uh, fatty liver, <clears throat> uh, steatohepatitis. Uh, and, and it's getting to be epidemic. It's, uh, and, and it's a sign. It's, uh, our liver's waving a I was going to say a white flag, but it's really a yellow, greasy flag saying we can't, there's a bad fuel mixture coming up from the gut. And that's what the fatty liver really is. As we started the answer here, it's stunning how quickly this will reverse. If you stop all the, the especially the fructose sugar in the juices and the candies and the, and the soft drinks, uh, fructose is especially toxic to liver in its refined forms, not in an apple. That's an okay form of, of fructose. There's mostly water in that apple. Uh, but when you're eating candy bars and, and high fructose corn syrup and the cola drinks, etc., this concentrated fructose uh, is really injurious to the liver. Now, well, when you stop that, you go on that whole food, plant-based diet, lots of salads and soups and steamed veggies and lots of water. Good walk every day to increase the blood flow through the liver. It's amazing. It's three weeks, six weeks, 12 weeks, and the liver goes essentially back to normal. It's just, it's, it's one of those things, the first time I saw it uh, in the operating room, uh, a patient who we, we had opened up previous several months before with an obvious fatty liver, uh, we had uh, to bring him back to drain an abscess a couple months later. The liver was back to normal. I was amazed at it. And, and it turns out it's a, a, a common expected uh, uh, effect. The liver is just a stunningly regenerative organ. So, uh, so the answer to <laughs> the long answer to that short question was yes, a whole food plant-based diet uh, and uh, elimination of those toxins to the liver uh, are absolutely capable of reversing fatty liver. So don't think of yourself, if you get that diagnosis and it's getting to be more and more common, uh, oh, I've got a fatty liver now. Well, it's, you know, it's like a sprained ankle. 
uh, it'll, it'll heal, but uh, you got to take care of it with a whole food plant-based diet. So important question. Thanks for asking it. Hope that helped. Hi, everyone. Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Each day, Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our daily Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.